Welcome back in. You know, we told you about the effort by the Jefferson County Sheriff Mark Petway to use several events to get the young people in the community uh, to trust law enforcement and encourage them to become successful members of society. Some of this involves playing some hoops. Sheriff uh, Petway joins us now live to explain more on why he thinks this can prove to be effective. Good to see you this morning, Sheriff. Well, this gives us a chance to engage with our youth in the mm -hmm. community, bring them out, gives us opportunity to talk to them about conflict resolution. Right. This is so important right now, especially what's going on with our young people. First of all, let's set up for folks. What explain what events are happening this Saturday? We have hoop fest going on this Saturday at Legion Field starts at nine o'clock. Come out and register or you can go to JeffcoHoopFest.com and register. Also, we have a contest for those that don't play sports. Okay to get them an opportunity to win prizes also. For those that don't play sports, we want you to write a 500 uh, essay, 500, word essay. 500 word essay, okay. Telling us how to resolve conflict, or they can do a three minute video doing okay. the same thing and turn it in by tomorrow. So we will select 10 uh, of, of those contestants to win an opportunity to go to Academy Sport and Goods store with us to get some tennis shoes. Oh, nice, nice. And, uh, and, and what's the price value of what they can win there, by the way? Up to $150 worth of um, supplies Ooh. from but that would buy Academy some nice Sport new kicks. Goods. That would yes. buy some nice new kicks. And so there's where you see the information if you want to submit that video. Uh, but listen, we, we alluded to it, uh, to it earlier, but why do you think this is so crucial right now? Right now, we have a lot of, of our youth that are dying because they don't understand how to resolve conflict. I tell them in the game of basketball, someone gets fouled, they go to the free throw line, they get to the shoot a free throw to resolve the problem. Or they can take it out of bounds and start to play all over again. But in life, we want them to understand once you take someone's life, there is no reset. We want them to find other ways to resolve conflict other than using violence. So there are lessons involved in this. It's not just, you know, getting kids playing basketball so they're doing something, you know, you know, you know, to get them off the street or whatever. This is there's some lessons here that are learned. But why do you think uh, this will be effective and has it proven to be effective already? Well, we start right now with our young generation. We're working with them to where they can understand that uh, violence is not the way to solve conflict. So we expect this young generation to be the generation to solve conflict a different way. So we're reaching out to them. We're also reaching out to those from the uh, age group of 12 to 30 to get them to come out to play hoop fest so we can give them a pamphlet to mm -hmm. talk to them about conflict resolution and give them options of how to resolve conflict. All right, so you see how you can get involved. Uh, as we wrap up here, Sheriff, he was sharing earlier, by the way, he used to work in computers, something in his heart told him he gravitated the law enforcement, so he's in that community service now. I'm just, I'm just curious, with, when you look, though, at outside of conflict resolution, the other issues we're seeing, especially among our young people, what do you think is at the core of that problem? You grew up in Inslee, uh, you know, you, you, ra you rose up to the success that you are. What is the core of the problem of kids, you know, ending up in, in violent acts? Uh, well, we need good leaders, good mentors, people that can bring them in, talk to them, and um, work with them. And once we do that, and I, that's what I had when I was growing up, I had someone to reach out to me, to mentor me, to uh, teach me and show me some things. And we continue that going down that pathway. We can reach our youth and we can change the direction that they're going and we can make sure they can live and not die. And we know it's a complex issue, but uh, that's at least a good place to start. And uh, it's a good chance to take a, uh, care of these opportunities, take a, advantage of these opportunities and go to the Jefferson County uh, Facebook page or their website and you can find out more information. Sure, Petway, thank you so much for coming in. We do appreciate it. Thank you, Mike. If you need somebody, you know, let me know. <laughs> we'll be right back.